tonight I'm going to share with you the, probably one of the biggest and most powerful hits you can use. Uh, it's the hammer fist. Yeah? So again, like every other lesson that I've taught you, if you can please um, reserve using something like this only when your life depends on it or the life of your loved ones depends on it. There's nothing that you can muck around with. Even in training, please take extreme care of your partners. Um, I have been doing this close to 40 years, so you know if I'm going a little bit faster, a little bit more to the target, it's just because I've had, got a lot more experience. So please, when you're training with your partners, take care of your take extreme care of your partners. Yeah, we've got um, tonight Josh and Ben helping me teach us back um, this hammer fist lesson. So guys, to, to begin with, hammer fist is a big, big, powerful hit. It uses every ounce of power that you can muster from your body from the ground up to release through an opponent, right? So it basically looks like this. So if um, uh, Josh is standing here, um, this hand, uh, load again, your stance is very important so that all the power comes up from the ground like the past lessons that we've been doing. And you want to load this hand across, bring the weight down rather than up. Bring the weight down, load it. Relax through with your hand and on impact make the fist and then drag it out this way. Yeah? So on impact make the fist and drag it out. Um, please don't try this with your friends at home. Yeah? So here, up, through, drag it out. So your target is this part of the jaw is extremely powerful. Uh, if you're turning the other way, uh, I might turn this way for the camera, um, that, that target on the neck dragging out is extremely powerful. Um, on the body, this, I'll go this side as well, uh, solar plexus here is a really good powerful shot through with the hammer. Uh, um, if the target is say, someone is punching me from the side, and you can actually destroy the arm as well with the hammer. So you can destroy the arm with the hammer and come uh, and, and hit the other side with the hammer fist to the target as well. Yeah? So it'll load this way, drag out this way. Um, very, very, very powerful for the uh, head, body, and the limbs as well if you need it. Application wise, it could be, say, Josh throws a punch, I might have bridged that, I might have back this as an entry and go after him in the hand of this one. Yeah? So, or uh, Ben might have maybe, I might have been late, maybe grabbed me, might have come through here this way and then you hammer fist this way uh, and across, uh, across the head if you need to. Yeah? So, and very, very powerful for happening behind you, attack behind you as well. Similar to a back fist in that you don't always have to square up, you can swing the back fist quite quite nicely behind you and beside you. So uh, if Josh is throwing that king hit at me, say, along this head, if I can sight it early, I don't have to block it, I can go towards it, destroy that arm and then go through the hammer this way, or I can go towards it, destroy that arm and back fist that way uh, if you know how to link a few hits. Yeah? So um, it, it is also very powerful for, say, if he's throwing a hook punch, I might be able to deflect it, and it's maybe a palm and it's hammer this way uh, across the jaw. Uh, as well, you can use it for the body as well. So if you can't find the target and say he's blocking, you can come down and hit the body this way and then go through to the lower target if the head doesn't quite present itself in a, in a situation. A hammer fist is a devastating hit when directed at the jaw. The massive release of energy onto an extremely small area of the body results in fractures of the jaw or mandible not only at the site of the hit, but on the opposite side as well. The energy transfer rips through tissue on the inside of the mouth, causing profuse bleeding and fractured teeth. The wave of force from the hit then passes deep into the brain, forcing it to be shaken back and forth in the skull. This can result in bruising and swelling at the front, and also damages structures at the opposite side to the hit. The rotational force of the hit causes a twisting of the neck, which can damage major blood vessels and fracture bones of the neck. A hammer fist to the solar plexus or upper abdomen imparts a massive amount of energy through a small area of contact. This causes intense pain and extreme difficulty breathing for up to a minute. The internal organs are forced violently back and forward causing internal bruising and bleeding. A hammer fist to the ribs. The main aim of this hit is to penetrate deep into the body and damage internal organs of the liver, spleen and kidneys, causing massive bruising, lacerations and internal bleeding. The effects on the internal organs are similar to those seen in high energy motor vehicle accidents. The pain caused by this hit will render the opponent winded, unable to breathe or move for a significant period of time. 
like everything that we've been teaching you with in a self-defense contest, it's very important to be able to flow from one move to the other. Otherwise, you might have one opponent that you might be trying to take care of and somebody comes to hit you over here, you might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah? So you need to be able to flow here, maybe a back fist, that touch, a hammer fist, that you over here backwards and hammer fist at a cross mm -hmm. maybe, yeah? so, um, so the main points here, come up from the body, load it, swing your whole body. Very important that, you know, you, if you imagine a, your, your little piece over here in the middle of the wrist and a, a little dot right in the middle of your sternum, and right in the middle of the wrist. Very important that you have it lined up at all times so that when you're swinging it, you're actually swinging it with your whole body and you're not, the arm is not independent of your middle. So you are delivering it and generating it with your whole body by finding that dot here and that dot here. It braces it through rather than being independent. Right? So if Josh picks up the uh, focus mitts for me uh, with the power of the hammer fist, um, uh, we, Josh might call ten for we'll go down here just so you can see. Okay, we're so here. One, yeah. two, three, four, four. So then you might be able to then link it with a back fist and a hammer. So maybe the last class we did a back fist. What you remember is that you can maybe do it with the hammer fist. So, so you could back fist into a hammer fist. So back fist into a hammer fist. Application last. Ben might throw a punch, I might block it, back fist, and a hammer fist through here, yes, okay? So back fist, uh, and, uh, and a through with the hammer fist that way. Or, uh, if Ben's throwing that punch there, I can maybe back fist that, you can go to the hammer fist to the body instead, right? So, so uh, through, back fist, to the, to the uh, body instead, uh, instead of the head, that's possible as well. So, uh, load, through, back fist, from a corner, same thing, so your target is a little bit behind you uh, in a street situation. Organize your legs, get to the target, and hammer fist. Yeah? Organize your legs, get to the target, hammer fist, and hammer fist. Because there's so much power going through that, uh, you can hit just about any part you need to make that work. Yeah? So that's the hammer fist. Hopefully, uh, you got a lot out of it. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank you.